Um, so Aries, let's see what's coming your way. And I see some time of peace, right? We've been in a fight over here with the Five of Swords in a conflict with somebody. And I'm seeing a pause with the hangman. I'm seeing a time of reflection on a conflict of some sort that was draining. Probably words being exchanged and, um, you know, harsh words, I would say. That is this energy of taking advantage, but with the Queen of Swords, maturity is coming, somebody is realizing their ways. Um, it is energy of uh, us stepping back just a bit, you know, to have a new perspective on what's going on and why the conflict and how can we uh, come out of it and also how we can distance King of uh, Wands and this is you, King of Wands in reverse. How can we put some distance between the person, the conflict, and our own interests, right? So let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one, the one that we need to pay attention to. And we have the Three of Cups in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups. And the Sun Leo energy... Oh, they want back. Six of Swords. Somebody wants back, Aries. Uh, somebody comes back to you, actually. Uh, might have been a falling out of a commitment with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wanted to be independent, have some time of their own. And guess what? They realize the happiness is with Aries. Maybe a Leo. Wheel of Fortune. The Destiny is saying yes. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Clean slate. Happy clean slate. And the Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody comes back, looks like um, back from the past, actually. So, so let's see what this is all about. We do have past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. It's interesting, bottom of the deck, nine of cups, kind of like the three of cups in reverse, right? We are not happy at this time. And um, only positive things are coming. When I look at the overall energy, definitely emotions, positive emotions and happiness. Um, so Aries, what happened, baby, in the past? We do have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We fell out of stability, of emotions, of love. Might have been a rejection of some sort. Might, might have been a connection that never really took off properly. And we became a little bit unstable. For some of us, this is a divorce. Ten of Pentacles, we know, is the energy of family, legacy, children. And we've been um, separated from and we fell out of something that was um, stable, you know, and our emotions went all over the place. For some of you, um, areas we disconnected, right? Um, Ace of Cups in reverse, uh, challenging, emotionally disconnection became unstable and, um, you know, challenging. So we said, well, no, thank you. Aries, this person of yours might be a Leo. You have Leo twice and we just started the reading. So we do have the sun and the strength. This is the energy of a Leo having your energy all over themselves. But this is also the energy of courage, of taming themselves, being on their best behavior. Um, and, um, and feeling strongly about you, you know, feeling strongly. There's a sense of generosity, a sense of kindness, a sense of doing their best. Okay, they tried in their own way. You know, um, Aries in their own way. Might have been, you, it might have been somebody, you know, a bit um, explosive, but they tried. You know, the strength is really taming themselves to the point where uh, they might not have been themselves in this connection. And that's what got them away from you because you show up here in reverse. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, disappointment, discontent and betrayal. Uh, that we try to heal, right? Ten of Swords, an end of a cycle of some sort. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse. Definitely the universe brought a new change. And we have the Wheel of Fortune as the overall energy. So we know it's kind of like the hand of the universe saying, well, this cycle is over. You better prepare for a new one, okay? And um, it kind of came to release both of you, um, you know, 
uh, this is how it feels. We, we, we got emotionally um, overwhelmed by what was happening, plus a sense of insecurity. And they had to be on their best behavior. They had to change themselves. So the ending came for both of you. This is how it feels, okay? It's interesting there's another message for somebody here. Um, Aries, betrayal happened because somebody was not paying attention either to the other person, either to the situation. There is a sense of, um, of not uh, looking, right? Uh, straight into the eyes of the other person. Well, where are we right now? First of all, a bit ashamed of what's going on. Six of Wands in reverse. This is the energy of I hope nobody will notice, nobody will see, nobody will ask. It's an energy of don't look. Um, and we are recovering emotionally, right? Five of Cups in reverse. We miss this person. We long for them. But slowly, we start to gain strength and, um, and come out of that, um, again, overwhelming empty cup um, emotions it can also be sadness can be tears it can be anger frustration and um but we don't want to show it right this is six of wands in reverse is also putting up a show in some way so that nobody enters the the very intimate private space that we are in right now you know um and and that's okay you know it's kind of another way of of putting boundaries uh the six of wands in reverse now this person of yours, they are in the Six of Swords energy and the Eight of Wands, passionate about you, but also needing peace of mind, right? It's the energy of I need to come out of this, uh, these tormented waters and I, I need to have a, f a fire in my belly. Eight of Wands is a passionate communication. They might be sending you messages right now. There might be a, a form of um, exchanges, but at, at the bottom of it, at the core of it, is because they still feel passionate about you and it feels like two extremes right on one side it's the burning passion that is tormenting and on the other end that they bring together it's but i need peace of mind i need to be in a quiet place right mutual energies between the two of you and what nobody says is that you both want commitment we have the high priestess the energy of knowing they are the one, you are the one. And the nine of pentacles in reverse. Nobody wants to be independent. And we have confirmations again. You have the nine of pentacles as the overall energy. We only take serious commitment. Independence is not for us. And they, they are still passionate about you. They feel actually um, very passionate energies. Aries coming your way. Page of Cups, Apologies, and Unblocking, Nine of Wands. <clears throat> For some of you, it's a piece of advice. Let's um, allow this, um, uh, let's allow these apologies to come in and put our guard down just for a bit, you know, allowing a flow of energies, allowing this person to approach and also um, have that because pages are also about communication. So. Um, it is the energy of let's allow emotions, let's talk emotions, let's open up, let's acknowledge um, and um, and get back into that, you know, because so far in the past and right now all the cups are in reverse. So it's about time with the Ace of Cups upright and the Page of Cups upright. It's about time we, we talk emotions and love again. And hell yeah, they want to talk. Um, Aries, they have the Ace of Swords coming their way and the Eight of Swords bound to you and wanting to communicate. They have a lot to say. Eight of Wands with the Ace of Swords, it's a world of communication. They have like, you know, it's like talking and talking and talking kind of because, um, um, you know, it's more than they have a lot to say. They are still passionate about you. There is a sense of clarity. There is a sense of aha moment. There is a process that they went through while still being bound to you. Right? Mutual energies between the two of you. Four of Swords and the Lovers in Reverse. Planning, strategizing and healing. A connection where both of you fell out of, uh, of love. Right? Healing the mind. Um, not choosing usually the lovers is options and and choosing head over heart or heart over head um, in this um, 
in this combination it's being strategic about love and the actual condition of love between the two of you because I, I kind of feel that um, a lot happened with the Ten of Swords in, in the past. Ten of Pentacles and instability and words and a little bit of fighting and a little bit of unhappiness and we were no longer paying attention to each other, right? So, um, but you know what? They've always been passionate about you. The strength is the energy of lust and physical attraction. Eight of Wands is Cupid's arrows. Um, again, communication, but also passion and burning passion. And Ace of Swords, the clarity of the mind. I've always known, right? That's Ace of Swords. And by the dense of energies and by the flow of energies on their side, they were never confused about how they feel for you, if you're wondering. And they want a clean new slate here, and they hope the universe will bring over, and that's a will of fortune. You are their luck, and they are your luck. And Ace of Cups and the Sun. Happiness and love. You know, they've always known um, Aries. They've always known. Now let's um, ask for some guidance. Let's see what exactly we need to do when it comes to this connection. So the universe is saying you are soulmates. You are bound to each other. That is love. That is completion. That is yin and yang energy. And that is love, body, mind and soul. We do have the divine masculine. So again, being guided, if you are Aries, a divine masculine, you are guided to act as one, to come from a place of um, higher self. We do have dating. You need to take this person on a date. It's starting new, right? It's kind of clean slate to this connection. And um, going back to ground zero. Spiritual maturity. We have soulmates and spiritual maturity. This is a divine connection, Aries. This is a divine connection and this is a divine masculine in your life for you are the one, the divine masculine in somebody's life. Divine, a divine masculine with a distorted feminine, right? The feminine Aries or the feminine in this connection that I'm picking up on, she has a lot of work to do on herself, right? Spiritual maturity, Acknowledging the bond, the body, mind, and soul, and speaking of you complete each other, in and yang, masculine and feminine energy. Right? Um, outpouring and inpouring kind of love. So, dating and in and yang. So, we know what this is, soulmates and in and yang again. Double confirmation that this is a divine connection, Aries. This is a divine connection. Of course, we have homework, the distorted feminine or somebody like the feminine energy in this connection, however you identify, um, has a, a bit of um, spiritual growth um, and some awakening to um, divine energies. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow and we do have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. We do have purpose. I know what I'm here to do, right? And I kind of sensing that where the, distor the, the feminine has some work to do, it's also realizing the purpose of this connection. We also have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So we need to bring and it's interesting, purpose and relationships is one and the same energy. I know what I'm here to do, so this connection has a purpose, and this relationship is only with people who serve our higher good. Um, Aries, surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. And bottom of the deck, self-esteem. And I kind of feel it's um, the energy of the feminine that needs to look into her self-esteem and bring it back into the flow. So I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. This is how we activate, right? Self-esteem, um, Aries. And it is by saying to yourself, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others um, all the way through your um, day, right? 
Oh my God, the divine connect looks like a, it feels like a twin flame because there's also forgiveness and lessons and we are here to teach each other something. So it feels a little bit like this, but in the same time, it's a divine connection. So it's a soulmate one. Um, hey, let's um, have a couple of uh, more general guidance and then we say goodbye. So Aries, block out distractions. So your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. So we have the four of cups in the past and the universe was you know, by giving um, us this energy, kind of says we are not paying attention. That is why kind of we, um, we went through the Ten of Swords energy, right? We are not paying attention. And now we have block out uh, destruction. So somebody here is not actually, um, you know, needs to do something about it. We do have bountiful nature. So spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet, meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activities to connect with the limitless uh, vastness. So you are guided to go outside. You are actually, this is all about getting grounded, right? This is all about touching Mother Earth and bringing a sense of balance um, to your energies and your flow of energy. And we do have comfort. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. And uh, this is Archangel Azrael. That's what the message we get, comfort, right? So your angel is saying, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So you are not alone, Aries, in this, okay? So, hey, this is all that I got for you, Aries. Please let me know what you think. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.